Benjamin asks, as I created a flow with associated Excel file, and I want to share this to my entire organization to have their own individual flow. How can I do that without the need to reset up the Excel file one by one? Well, that's a really good question. And it's a really good use case. And it's one of those uh, scenarios where you're really showing the value of citizen developers or the maker experience where one person can create something that adds value to them and then scales it out. But it's at that point of scale, like you indicate, where you might have to reconnect all those Excel files. Presumably that Excel file is sitting in your OneDrive, for example. Um, and so you don't want to reconnect it, uh, but odds are you're going to have to uh, provide some type of instruction where uh, each user who's getting a copy of your flow and that's one of the things that you can do within Power Automate is you can share a copy of your cloud flow out to other users. And at that point, when you bring that flow in, there's going to be some type of interface where you're going, they're going to have to reconnect um, all of the different triggers and actions to their, their local resources. Um, there might be other ways, like you, you see it in uh, as a template, for example, inside of the, the flow store or whatever it's called. Uh, but I, I don't think you'd want to, to go that route. Um, there, there is a link that the complexity of it going wrong. It's the complexity of it going wrong for the individual user. I think is where the the panic then starts to come in because the average user often doesn't understand how to actually work with it as technology, and it looks quite complicated the moment you get in there. So you know those easy solutions become hard sometimes with flow. Mm -hmm. well, my, I'm still my calling it too is, <laughs> I mean, there are some other centralized. I mean, if the the issue here. If people have access to flow and they have the ability to go and do things on their own and this person benjamin is looking to provide hey i did this is providing me a lot of value other people can go and do it too share the flow but obviously you'd have to go and create the data set you'd create the excel file locally it's like well what depending on what that data is if it's not private if it's work related if it can be shared or made available made public that's out there I mean, a lot, of, a lot of other concerns. You can always put, put that data out in Azure in a couple different formats to make that centrally available. So people could go and add their data to that same file set, and then you can modify the flow to only pull that data, which is relevant by user, you know, personally and you know, relevant. So you could just slightly tweak the, the flow there. But otherwise, I mean, you could just do a walkthrough of, I was just thinking, it's like, if it is personal data, and you want them just to create and get value out of it, share the flow, share the structure of that, do a walkthrough document of how of each piece of how they need to go and build it, how they need to, what they need to connect it to, and then run it off that data so that they can follow in your footsteps. So I think you've got a bunch of different paths here. Yeah. Um, the the, the one guy always, that, is that original file is that original file is that have to be a new file every time did it right. if it's a template that's when the question goes can it just be the source file it's always right. if going it, back to if it's it a source file and it can be shared if it's not personal individual to the user that created that then why not then put that source out in a location where everybody could get to it uh, and, and out in SharePoint, out on, mm -hmm. in Azure, wherever, okay. um, make it that database that's out there. They go and add, update the data, but then, they, then they're just creating the flow and you're not having to go and reset up all the, 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 the connectors. You still need to do that to get your personal version if you want notifications and other, you know, other automations around that, depending what's in the flow. We have, no data, we have no data about what's in the stream. flow. Put it on yeah. stream so it's a little training video on how to and they have the guide to go with it so people can kind of physically see it because some are very visual and some are auditory and some are so you know what does it what does it look like there are different ways you can help them so you wouldn't have to do it personally for every single every single person in the business kind of thing yeah and you know the user shouldn't be intimidated by uh, reconnecting all of the connections that sit inside the trigger and the actions. It's it's a simple sign in button and locate file in the context of their own OneDrive, if that's indeed the case. And on a, and a, and a walkthrough and type of document, plus the, uh, the link that we can share in this video should be enough to uh, get Benjamin going in the right direction.